The FDA and EPA are advising pregnant and breastfeeding women to eat low mercury seafood, but are not requiring package labeling. The agencies say the nutritional benefits from most seafood outweigh the mercury risks. The FDA and EPA say pregnant and breastfeeding women aren't eating enough fish. The agencies issued new draft guidance Tuesday that say the nutritional benefits of many types of seafood outweigh the risk of their limited mercury content. Emerging science now tells us that limiting or avoiding fish during pregnancy and early childhood can mean missing out on important nutrients that can have a positive impact on growth and development as well as on general health. Previous guidelines set a maximum amount of fish appropriate for expectant and new moms at 12 ounces or two to three servings a week. The FDA says many of these women are eating seafood amounts well below that or not at all. For the first time, the FDA and EPA are advising women in this group to eat a minimum amount of fish. Eat at least eight and up to 12 ounces a week of fish that is lower in mercury. Safe low mercury fish include salmon, shrimp, pollock, light canned tuna, tilapia, catfish, and cod. The government still advises pregnant and breastfeeding women to avoid fish with higher mercury levels. Tile fish from the Gulf of Mexico, shark, swordfish and king mackerel. High mercury levels may pose risks to developing brains. Consumer groups are seeking package labels and say today's guidance may not be enough to clear up confusion about which seafood is and isn't safe to eat. Cindy Sharp, Associated Press.